The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he has girded himself. The world is also established that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thy art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up. O oh Lord, the floods have lifted up their voices. Mm -hmm. The flood lifted up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of all many waters. Ye the mighty waves of the sea, thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O oh Lord, forever. Amen. 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 Therefore, into the one place. This is not to eat the Lord's supper. For in eating, everyone taketh before others his own supper. And one is hungry, and another is drunk. What? Have ye have not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shameth them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. But I have received the Lord, which also I delivered unto him. And the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he breaks it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, and as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Together. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye may come together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Amen.
out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Yeah. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, yeah. visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me, mm -hmm. and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. Yeah. And keep my commandments. Yes, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Yes. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day. Hello, hello. Yes. Remember the Sabbath day. Uh -huh. To keep it holy. Yes. Six days shall thou labor. Yes. That means work. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Yes. Thou, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth to see and all that is in them, mm -hmm. uh, that is in them, is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that yes. thy days may be long upon the land. Lord thy God giveth thee. Yes. Thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Yes. Thou shalt not steal. All thou right. shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Yes. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, nor shalt thou thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, mm -hmm. nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Mm -hmm. And all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and when the people saw it they removed and stood afar off amen this amen. is the word of the lord in your hearing maybe you can see it in the presence of god and his angels amen. Uh, my wife and i have been doing uh, a quiz that i messed with her about amen. and that is uh to recite the Ten Commandments in order. She's been doing a great job. Amen, amen. Uh, so, we, so every once in a while I'll challenge her around it uh, just to see what she's remembering. Uh, the reason that, that I'm doing it has to do more with me just messing with her, but uh, she's up to the task. And the reason that I'm mentioning it to you is because one of the things that I've discovered is that uh, most Christians tend not to know what the Ten Commandments are. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. They, don't, they don't remember. I mean, they sort of have some idea. Yeah. They can tell you a few of them when we get to the thou shalt not. You might remember a couple of them. Right. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not uh, commit adultery. Uh, we can hear them, but we don't, we don't abide by them. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you know, thou shalt have no other God before me. We'll yes. put somebody or something in front of God. And yes, we, we don't think about the fact that what we just did is put something or somebody before me. Yes. So I'm a list. You shall have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. Two, you shall make no idols. Three, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. <laughs> Four, keep the Sabbath day holy. Five, honor your mother and your father and your mother. And six, you shall not murder Seven, you shall not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Eight, you shall not steal. Mm -hmm. Nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Just in case y'all don't know what that is, let me shorthand it, don't lie. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, ten, thou shalt not covet. Okay. A Sunday school teacher was teaching a class about the difference between right and wrong and said, all right, children, uh, let's take another example. Uh, that's what the teacher said. She said, if I was to go in and get into a man's pocket and take his wallet and remove all the money, what would I be? And little Johnny said, um, I know, I know. And the teacher said, all right, Johnny, what would I be? And he said with this confident smile, Johnny said, you'd be his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
and I've discovered, I've, yeah, yeah, that's right. I've discovered that people still intentionally, and sometimes unintentionally, stealing is the commandment that we're talking about today. Amen. And it is the eighth commandment of God. Okay, okay. Stealing is actually something that folk think is okay until or unless it is you that had something stolen from you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Keith Walker said that most of us don't think we have a problem with stealing and we don't steal in the armed robbery or burglary sense. Uh -huh. But it is what is meant by stealing. There's like 138 synonyms or other ways of saying stealing. Uh -huh. Right? There's 138 of those. Mm -hmm. And then he gave this list. The kid at McDonald's gives you too much change and you keep it. Uh -huh. yes, yes, That's yes. stealing. Yes. Mm -hmm. You find money and you don't try to find out who lost it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Satan way of saying finders, keepers, losers. We lose it. Yeah, y'all know that. Yes. Or you take an ink pen or paper clips from home, I mean home from work. So, you know, the, the boss don't mind. They got plenty of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You do personal work, work while you're on the clock at work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many of us have fallen prey to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You read your personal emails while you're on the job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Janice, I got you. <laughs> you don't have to do that anymore. Amen, amen. I mean, I email her every once in a while. She would be at work. She ain't supposed to be doing that. So I won't contribute to the delinquency of an adult. You copy a tape or CD of your favorite music. Yes, I'm not doing that no more. <laughs> Y'all going to have to buy your old CDs and stuff. I ain't doing it no more. You buy lunch of the lunch special and your wife buys the buffet so you can eat all the food off her plate. Come on. All right, <laughs> You have an expense account at work of thirty dollars a day. You spend fifteen and pocket the other the other fifteen. You take a sick day when you're not sick. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, all right, all right. Good. So maybe maybe we're not so innocent after all of not stealing. One of the biggest things in the Christian life should be integrity. Um, stealing is not only an indication of our lack of integrity before God, but it is also a violation of God's eighth commandment. So today I want to take, talk about don't take what's not yours. Don't take what's not yours. And so the first thing I want you to notice about God's spiritual law is I want you to understand what stealing is. I gave you some examples. But these four words from God mean that we are to avoid taking things that do not belong to us or things that we think should belong to us okay. but don't belong to us. Right. Thou shalt not steal. And the Greek word is ganab. And the primitive root word of that, that is to thief or literally to steal or by thief. It also means to carry away, uh, or secretly bring, or steal away, or get by stealth. All right, now. Let me take you back to one of them, to deceive. All right, all right, right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So to deceive actually isn't just I, I physically took something from someone. Okay. It is that I lied. Because I'm trying to deceive somebody about something that I've done. All right, all right. And hey, y'all can't hear. Oh, yeah. It is not telling the truth. All right. It is shading it a little bit. Yeah. You know, we talk about the enemy got us talking about gray areas and mm -hmm. the little white lie, not and you know, as the implication is, and the black lie is the bad one, but the white lie is okay. Mm -hmm. But if you actually understood the history of of, of slavery then you'd understand that masked up in this white and black thing and what's black is bad and what's white is good. Yeah. Y'all ain't here. Yeah. 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 If you understood what that means is then you would understand that it is easier for us to think about something being a white lie as not being so bad, but then if it's a black lie or if it's a dark lie, 
then it's got to really be bad, uh -huh. right? Yes, yes, yes. But to God, just so we're clear, yeah. there is no difference. Uh -huh. yes, yes. If you're lying, you're lying. And if you're lying, then you have bearing false witness, so you're yes. not telling the truth. But you are also stealing, because then you're not telling the truth, right? right. right? Okay. So the shade is to steal. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me so far? Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you're with me. Uh -huh. we would but let me see if I, can, if I can walk down your lane. It means to take possession of something that belongs to somebody else. All right. And what the Lord is telling us, not only is it wrong, but it is a lack of trust in this promise to us uh -huh. to provide for our needs. Uh -huh. yeah. So I don't want to take what it doesn't belong to me because I got to believe that God will give me what it is uh -huh. I need. But you know how we are. Well, you know, I, I want to take it anyway. I like that pen. Being Come on, pal. Come on, yeah. Say I it, man. Say it. I'm not looking over that way about people wanting to keep All people right. pens. Right. I'm looking over here. So I don't look at people. All right. We like to keep people's pens. And he don't mind. <laughs> But, but but we steal a pen, right? Yeah. yeah. Or, or you know, you see some money on the floor. Here's my here's my theory, my working theory, and my working uh, idea about what you do. You find money in the church, the money should go in the offering. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. If there's money on the floor, don't take it, don't steal it, give it back to God because yeah. it's on the ground. Uh huh. Yeah. Or in the chair. Uh huh. Ooh. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so so don't be stealing up in here. Yeah. Well, it was a couple of couple of months ago, somebody pulled pull my wallet out of my coat. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. in the church. Uh -huh. yeah. So what that told me was everybody that's in here ain't in here. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. What y'all yeah. say? Amen. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now I keep it in my back pocket because right. 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 I was like, okay, Learn. now fool me once, shame on you. me. No, on you. Right. Pull me twice, shame, shame on, on me. me. Yeah. Right? So you ain't getting it again. You got to come you. through me. Oh, man. It's all so, right, Pastor. So right. I, I learned that over the course of the time. You know, man. you want to trust people. But some people you can't trust. Yeah. Yeah. They really true. don't have the heart of the Lord in them right now. Right. Uh -huh. right. But people hold up other people to take away stuff that is not theirs because they're not willing to go work for what they need. Yeah. 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 And we got people beating up and robbing folks because they don't want to work. Right. That's the work that they do. Somehow they think that if I beat you up, take your stuff, then that's good. And then they continue to do that. We're talking about violence in our city. Yeah. And in part, it's because we got lazy folk who don't want to work. Right. And think the best way to get something is to take it from somebody that did work to get what they got. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And yeah. we wonder what we're doing. We have some, and I emphasize some, who are unwilling to even work, even though they can, just so they can get government assistance. Come on, man. Come on. Say it. Trying to tell the truth. Tell. Yeah, amen. And then we wonder what we're teaching our children. Yeah. 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 That doesn't mean everyone's trying to do it, because there are plenty of people who cannot work who do need the government assistance. But then there are people that don't. And to just go ahead and deceive the government. So that you can get what you want. Uh -huh. All right, now. God shared this commandment so that believers would operate with integrity, yeah. with possessions, with the possessions of other people. Uh -huh. yeah. He communicated that he is to be our first priority. Uh -huh. Where did the Ten Commandments go? Uh -huh. our, he is to be our first priority. Then our families, as in our mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. Then we are to be careful and loving to our spouses and not allow anybody to come between you and that spouse. Yeah. All right. And then the Lord focuses our attention here in this eighth, uh, this eighth uh, commandment from, from thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, to now thou shalt not steal. Yeah. Uh -huh. For a Christian, we should be able to leave our possessions out. And yeah. no one in the church yeah. should ever touch it because it don't belong to you. Yeah. Yeah. But what we have learned is everybody who comes to the church don't have the Lord Jesus in their heart. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Let's just keep it real. Yeah. And so they don't see anything wrong with stealing something that doesn't belong to them. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Ladies, y'all have to keep watch over your purse yes. in the church. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of all places in the church. Yeah. You got to you gotta make sure you got your church, your purse in the right place. Yeah. In the church. It's a sad fact that there are folk who can be among us <laughs> who don't have Jesus in their heart. Yeah. Amen. And when that's true, mm -hmm. that is true for stealing of what somebody finds yeah. is easy mm -hmm. to do. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. So now that we understand what evil Stealing is, let's explore why as believers we should not steal. Amen. Uh -huh. To most people, it's a no-brainer that Christians should not steal. Uh -huh. you, you, you would like to think <coughs> if you're a Christian and you got Jesus in your heart, uh -huh. you know you shouldn't steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? But right. well, we got people who have stolen husbands. Yeah. We got people who have stolen wives. Yeah. We've got people who have stolen somebody else's possession. Yeah. We got people who have stolen things that didn't they did not earn. Yeah. Right. Uh, we as I said, you know, you can do it at your job. You're doing stuff, taking stuff from your job that you shouldn't be taking. Yeah. And if Christians are to impact the world as Jesus has commanded us to do, then we must not do the things that the world does. Yeah. 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 We are supposed to be honorable yes. people. Yes. We are supposed to be people who do not steal. Amen. Because our God told us that we should not do it. Yes. Yes. Stealing was one of those things that God is so passionate about that he adds it to the list of the commandments that he gives Moses. Yes. He could have added some other stuff, but he knows stealing was important. Yeah. <clears throat> and remember, as I've shared before, that the Israelites were coming out of slavery. Yes. Yeah. And because they were coming out of slavery, God knew that they could be contaminated by what they learned while they were in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We have grown up in the United States, yeah. and it's dog eat dog. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get ahead, sometimes you got to step on somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to get ahead, sometimes you got to be ruthless, and Don't you got to take that. something from people yeah. and do the wrong thing in order for you to get ahead. Yeah. We've come out of that. They came out of Egypt, and in the, even in Egypt, even in Egypt during that time, if you got caught stealing somebody's stuff, mm -hmm. they would they would either cut off your hand. Y'all yeah. mm -hmm. can't hear me. Yes, uh -huh. Almost would that they would do that today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, but they were coming out of this place. You cut off their hand, and if you stole some a particular thing, and especially if you stole something in the church, uh -huh. or in uh -huh. that case uh -huh. in their temple, uh -huh. you stole something out of the temple. You, you were going to get killed. Uh -huh. yeah. That was your sentence. Your death sentence was you stole from the, the temple, yeah. you die. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. That was how they felt. Uh -huh. And God felt that it was so important that he included it in the eighth, I mean, as the eighth commandment uh, mm -hmm. for us to know. Yeah. So in the Sumerian culture of which Egypt was mm -hmm. and is, about 5,200 years ago, they, they had laws that regulated specific punishments for theft. Uh -huh. or for stealing. Uh -huh. For theft of property in the temples or the royal palace, the punishment was death. Yeah. The yeah. same applied to those who stole or who sold or acquired stolen goods. Uh -huh. So I can't yeah. I can't buy none of those bootleg DVDs anymore. I don't want to be buying them anyway. Come on, man. <laughs> Confession is good for the soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, so while I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. All right. So, 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 you know, the same thing about death applied if you stole, if you just get acquired stolen goods. Uh huh. Your brothers and sisters would be on the street talking about, I got this air conditioner for five dollars. Uh huh. Five dollars. Some of y'all know y'all be trying to get it. Yeah. 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 Say it, that's it. Yeah. Even for buyers who could not prove that they had purchased the goods legally, they come by and they find out that you don't have any any uh, paperwork on it. Yeah. You can that you can get killed or get something cut off too. Uh -huh. a, cur a person caught breaking into somebody's house could be killed on the spot. Mm -hmm. You sort of got a law like that now. Mm -hmm. You just can't let them get out your house. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, you won't kill them. You got to bring them back in. Don't let don't don't let them get out. No. Ancient Egypt also had laws and courts to deal with thieves. They, those convicted were subject to corporal punishment. Y'all don't know what corporal punishment is. That's beaten. But they also would mutilate them too. They'd flog them. Or they'd have to serve in, in jail or serve somebody 
or they could even be put to death by being on the stake. Mm -hmm. In the 5th century BC, in Greece, these were called klepti, from which we get the root word kleptomania. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't get that. Uh -huh. So the worst case, that you know, a kleptomaniac, yeah. somebody can't help themselves. They just steal stuff. Uh -huh. Right? That's, that's the idea, that, yeah. that you're a klepto. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and the worst case could be the sentence for death for that. That was in Greece, uh -huh. even close to the time of Jesus. Uh -huh. Right? In the Roman Empire, stealing could be punishable by death. But if the thief was not killed when caught in the act, he could be instead sentenced to reimburse the victim often four or five times more than what the stolen item was worth. Mm -hmm. In our governmental system today, we don't cut off the limbs of people like they did in Egypt. But God mm -hmm. thought it was so important yeah. that we who believe in him uh -huh. should never take something that doesn't belong. Amen. 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 God don't, and the problem often is that it's because the Lord doesn't address our stealing directly, you know, sometimes you get in the way with it. You just keep getting away with it. You just keep getting away with it mm -hmm. until one day something happens. Mm -hmm. So we understand now what stealing is. Yes, we understand why believers should not steal. All right, man. Lastly, I want to leave you with this now, and we're going on home. Mm -hmm. Who is not hurt by stealing? It's a question. Mm -hmm. That's the last point that I want to leave you with. And if you think about it, if I steal something from you, then I have hurt you. Uh -huh. yes, I have taken right. something that does not belong to me, yes. and I have acquired it for myself. Yeah. Uh -huh. But according to the Eighth Commandment, if I steal, I have also hurt myself. Yeah. Because I have broken that commandment. Yeah. The same thing is true with adultery. If I, if I commit adultery, I am not just hurting the person, yeah. I'm hurting myself. Amen. And then I'm also hurting God because Amen. of what the Word of God tells me. Amen. 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 And, I'm adultery, and I am hurting other people. Yes. Right? Yeah. And so, but what I found out is that not only am I hurting the person when I steal, and I'm hurting then myself when I steal. The only person that I don't hurt is Satan. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only person that don't get mad when I violate God's Ten Commandments is, is the enemy. Yes, yes. yes. So when we talk about how hard something is to get through, get over, whatever, the only person that actually is glorified in that is Satan. Yes. He's the only person that then is 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 excited. That you have done it. He's yeah. the only person that isn't hurt when something is stolen. Uh -huh. He's the only person that isn't hurt when we go through our moves and our, you know, and upset and bothered with somebody. He's the only person that when we act out is not hurt. He's right. enjoying watching you do what you do. Hey, or watching you struggle with what you struggle with. The enemy wants us to do that. Uh -huh. Because he gains from that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, he does. Shai said it well last week. The enemy comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And if he can destroy a relationship, if he can destroy the way that you walk, if he can destroy your confidence in God, if he can convince you that what somebody else has should belong to you, so let me take it, uh -huh. the enemy is happy. Yeah. Uh -huh. God is set. Yeah. Yes. Because one of, his, one of his own is violating his command. We see Eve stole first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, right. Y'all yes. okay. can't hear me. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. So sin, we know that the original sin was what they did in the Garden of Eden. Yes. And Eve took the fruit yep. from the tree mm -hmm. that God said, do not take from. Yes. That was stealing. Yes. So she takes it, and that becomes then the first theft. Yes. Uh -huh. The first thing. Right? Yes. Where does that come from? Mm -hmm. Where does the idea to steal come from? It comes from the mind. Mm -hmm. It comes from the fact that I feel like I, that that's mine or that should belong to me. Yeah. That I'm not being treated fairly, that something is not well for me or right for me. And so therefore I, I should have access to it even though it's not mine. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Adultery is like that. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not happy here, so I want to go here because this can make me happy, but even yeah. though it doesn't belong to me. I already have something, but I'm doing something else. Yeah. 
Y'all can't hear uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. but, 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 but that's what it is. And, and so stealing is like that. And then if I'm if I'm in the midst of adultery, I've just now brought somebody else in uh -huh. and, uh, uh -huh. in my scene. Yeah. 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 Which is like stealing still because now I've, I've got something that should not be mine yeah. to try to make it mine and make me feel like I ought to have it. Y'all yeah. right. uh -huh. so uh -huh. can't hear uh -huh. that. Yeah. But, 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 but here, here, let me let me let me end with this. Let me uh -huh. let me tell you just this this piece. Jesus came. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh -huh. say, but Jesus. Jesus. But Jesus came. Uh -huh. Jesus came to show that we can count on God. Uh -huh. yeah. For what we need yeah. and to provide so yeah. we don't have to take. Yeah. Yeah. We, we serve a God that if you serve in him, he owns the cattle on the thousand years. He will give you what you need. So we don't have to take what we, that does not belong to you. All right. Jesus showed the way. Uh -huh. And he walked among us and he said that I will give you what you need. I will provide. God God will give you what you need according to his riches in glory. You don't have to take as a believer. You never have to steal anything from anywhere. Take it back walk with integrity. All right? Sundays and working on Saturdays and, and, and wearing themselves out and getting yeah. sick. 
Why? Because you're chasing the dollar and not chasing God. Amen. 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 You didn't trust God will give you what you need. Yeah. So now you're out going to do more than you ought to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the lack of trust in the Lord yeah. is not fair. The commitment to God. Yes. All right. All right. Trust me for what you need. Yes. Yes. I'm going to give you what I need. What yeah. you need. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't always going to give you what you want. Yeah. But he will give you what you yeah. need. Yeah. 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 Some of us chasing that stuff still got a roof over our head. Yeah. But ain't got no more money than when you started. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, amen. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Say it. 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 We need to watch what we do. Yes. And we need to trust God. Amen. Yes. Yes. The doors of the church are open. Yes. 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 Yes.